This is how I weave in loose ends on all of my crochet projects. Firstly, you do not need a sewing needle and thread. There are a few different needle options you can choose from. My personal favorite is the curved steel needle because it works with almost any yarn weight. The straight needles seem to always come so short and the plastic needles have their own purpose. You're going to need a good pair of scissors. First, let's make sure we are working on the back side of our project. I did create a visual so you can have a better understanding of what the stitches look like and how we're going to pick them up. I'm rocking my needle back and forth to make sure I'm only picking up the back loops and my needle should not show through on the front side. On my second pass, I make sure I skip a loop so I'm not undoing the work that I just did. The magic number is three. Three passes is literally all you need and nothing should unravel. This is super easy and effortless and it looks seamless from the front.